why women shit test you and what it means. Now, the thing that you have to understand about a shit test is that women will only shit test you when they feel threatened by you. What do I mean by threatened by you? What I mean is she feels that you could potentially become a future dating partner, a future sexually active dating partner of hers, right? And obviously she does not want to have sex with the world. Instead, she wants to be very selective about that. So when you come across and she sees that you have the potential to be that, she naturally and instinctually gets a little threatened by that. And her natural defense mechanism that she puts up is to shit test you, to call you out a little bit, to press on your boundaries, right? To push on your frame, to see if you're actually that guy that you are presenting yourself to be. If you are as alpha as she thinks or as you think you are, she wants to see is this guy for real, right? The problem is a lot of guys take the shit test the wrong way. A lot of guys take a shit test negatively from a girl. They think that, oh, she's just being a bitch. No, she's just being a bitch to me. I don't deserve that. You know, and they don't see what's behind the subtext of the shit test. They don't see that, hey, you know, if I was a bum living in a cardboard box, would this girl sit here trying to shit test me, push on my boundaries, push on my frame to see if I'm, you know, to see if I'm alpha or not? No, she wouldn't. I mean, she's not going to do this for a homeless guy, right? She's not going to shit test a homeless guy. She's only going to shit test guys that she feels are potential threats to her having more sex with new partners, right? Because anytime she brings a new sexual dating partner into her life, she takes the risk of potentially becoming impregnated by this guy for the next you know, nine months, carrying his child around. So in order for her to quantify and validate that potential nine month investment in you, she has to shit test you. Right? Even if she has no intention of ever having kids, no intention of ever raising a family with you, it's still the potential threat of that, of her being in that position. She wants to make sure, hey, if I'm in that position, it better be with the right guy. It better be with a real alpha male, not one of these fake alpha males, not one of these chumps, not one of these beta orbiters, right? I mean, a lot of these beta orbiters that a lot of these hot girls brag about, right? You ever see these hot girls on like social media, Instagram, be like, look, I have 100,000 followers. I get 20,000 likes per day. Anytime I upload a photo, 20,000 guys loving, loving and liking my photo. It's like, girl, you realize all 20,000 of those dudes are beta orbiters, right? I'm like, stop bragging about these guys. They're all beta orbiters. Like, why do you have sex with them then? Oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're just good for likes, but you would never have sex with them. You know, take it a step further. These girls wouldn't even shit test these guys. And they don't, even on social media. These girls don't shit test them. What for? She's like, these guys are beta. They just like my photos. You know, they like everything I upload. They drop like, they shower every single photo I upload with compliments. So for her, she's not even going to shit test these guys because already she has already disqualified them in her mind. Right? In her head, these guys are invisible. They don't need to be shit tested because they've already failed. There's no reason to test these guys. They've already failed. They've already demonstrated that they don't have what it takes to be in a, rela be in a relationship with her. She's, they're not somebody that she views as a viable candidate. They're not somebody that she is threatened by, right? Women are not threatened by beta orbiters. They're not threatened by beta simps who are, you know, pedestalizing them on a daily basis. You know who they're threatened by? They're threatened by guys who don't pedestalize them. They're threatened by guys that seem like they have a strong frame, that seem like, again, potential sexual partners. Okay, and I've always tell guys, you know what, if the girl doesn't shit test you, that's bad, right? If she's immediately, this is a bad sign too. A lot of guys don't realize this, a lot of newbies. Like if the girl is being overly polite to you and she just met you and she's super, like being overly, just overly 
I guess that's, that is the word I'm looking for. Just overly polite to you and overly friendly to you in that way where she's just afraid to offend you and she's just like really just overly nice to you. That's bad. And she's not shit testing you. She's basically saying like, you're like a girlfriend to me, right? You're like a girlfriend. I don't see you as a potential sexual threat. I see you as a girlfriend. And that's why she doesn't bother to shit test you. And that's why when, when a girl is overly polite to me, from time to time that happens, right? Because the girl hasn't gotten to know me yet. She's like, oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, I love, I love your shirt and blah, blah, and all this other stuff. Immediately, I stop that. I nip that in the bud. And I'm like, you like my shirt? Yeah, I love your shirt. I don't like yours. What? Why? And I'm like, because I think the, I hate the color and it doesn't match your shoes. And I don't know what caused you to wear that bracelet tonight, but I, I'm not feeling that bracelet either. You know, I'll create tension. I'll create tension with a girl on purpose so the girl will shit test me. It's like I will draw the shit test out of her because I know without the shit test, I can't create attraction. If the girl won't even test me, I can't do anything with that, right? It's like I'm defenseless, right? You, it's like she doesn't even want to play the game. I can't even send my offense out on the field if she won't send her defense out. Right? It's like we're just going to be playing with ourselves. It's like the girl has to engage. And if she doesn't engage via shit test, then there's nothing there. So if it's a girl I like and she starts giving me the polite, you know, basically filtering her, uh, her conversation through the polite mask, I have to draw the shit test out of her. And I will do it, right? I will do it. I, I will create tension with the girl. You know, and it's not because I'm trying to be mean to her. It's because I like her. I want her to shit test me because I feel like we can have a connection together. You know, it's like you're, you're just not seeing it yet, girl. But trust me, I'm worthy of being shit tested. Right. So don't think a shit test is a bad thing. Right. It's not a bad thing. Actually, it's never a bad thing. You know, some girls, do they take it too far? Yeah, they take it too far. The times where women take the shit test too far is when they see that you are backing down when they it's it's almost like they're angry at themselves because they thought you were worthy of the shit test they thought you could be a potential sexual dating partner and then you demonstrated such weak beta ass behavior that she feels like not only does she have to punish you she has to punish herself and she will take it out completely on you right it's like she's not only mad at you but she's really mad at herself and she's going to take it out on you. She is just going to try to annihilate you. What have I told you guys about demonstrating weakness in front of a woman? It's like some women will see that as blood in the water. They'll see that as permission to annihilate you. And you know what? This is why you have to have a strong frame. This is why you have to have a backbone and you cannot kowtow to these women, right? You cannot kowtow to them. So, um, next time you're out there doing cold approach, don't look at a shit test as a bad thing. Because again, she's not going to shit test just anybody. She's only going to shit test the guys that she feels are sexual threats to her, which is you, right? She feels that you have the potential to become another guy that enters her life. And she wants to make sure that, you know what, you're not faking it, that you're congruent. Okay, that you're not putting up this front like you're alpha right now, but then, you know, she lets you into her life. She, she invests time in you. She emotionally invests in you. She starts dating you only to come to find out, you know, weeks, months, years later that you're a complete chump. You are a complete beta the entire time. Then she will be super, super pissed. And this is why a lot of these girls turn into like just complete witches, right? Complete vengeful witches later on down the line. Is because you started to demonstrate that incongruence and you lost your frame, right? You, you stopped demonstrating your masculine frame to the girl. So shit test, stop looking at it as a bad thing. It is a good thing. The girl is only going to shit test winners or guys that she thinks are winners. Not losers, but guys that she feels are winners, which is you. So until next time. This is M from the 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. But moreover than that, 
hey, when you subscribe to my channel, you are going to learn a ton. Okay, so it's not like you're going to subscribe to my channel and you're going to be fed more blue pill Disney shit. No, you are going to be red pilled when you are subscribed to this channel. And you're going to get every single coaching video I upload to YouTube right as I upload it. Okay, you're not going to miss a beat. Okay, this is why it's very important you subscribe to my channel as well and share my coaching videos with other like-minded guy friends of yours. Okay, so we could really start to get this knowledge out there because not enough guys have this knowledge, man. A lot of guys are suffering out there. A lot of guys are making dumb mistakes. A lot of guys are getting divorce raped. A lot of guys are marrying the, these single moms, these post-wall single moms that rode the CC in their 20s. A lot of these guys are ruining their lives. And it's my mission in life to try to help and save as many guys as possible. Help save and red pill as many guys as possible. But I can't do that if you're not even subscribed to my channel, right? So make sure you're subscribed. And if you want to support my work and all this red pill content I'm teaching you guys even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and my students are out there cold approaching day and night every single week, and I kid you not, every single week, okay? I don't teach you guys to go after the single moms or the low hanging fruit or these women who are just getting off the CC who are going to divorce rape you someday. No, I teach you how to go after the young, high caliber, beautiful women out there. Cool chicks that you would want to bring in your life, okay? We call them good women on this channel. If you want to support my work, that is the absolute best way to do it. And the first month is only one buck, okay? So it's only one dollar for the entire first month of coaching lessons in seven months of mastery. Right? The reason why it's only one buck is because I want you to try it out for yourself to see all of the powerful lessons that I'm teaching you in seven months of mastery before you commit to it for the next seven months. Okay, That first month, only a buck. Try it out. See what I'm teaching these other guys out there. They're so I have so many success stories now. So many guys. You see sometimes they comment below on a lot of my coaching videos. They're like, hey guys, get into seven months to mastery. I'm not just saying that, but oh my God, you're gonna learn a ton. It's awesome. He doesn't upload these coaching videos to YouTube. You gotta get into seven months to mastery, right? They will tell you themselves, right? I don't need to be out there plugging my own program. It's that good. And as I've told you guys, I'm one of the best pickup artists in the world. I've been doing this my entire adult life since the mid nineties, you know, and this is how I got red pilled. I got red pilled by doing, you know, so much cold approach and dating so many beautiful women. I got red pilled. How do you think I learned all this stuff? Right? I learned it through game. I learned it through pickup. Right? So the first month of seven months of mastery is only a buck. It's hands down the best dollar you're ever going to spend in your entire lifetime. And all you need to do to sign up is just click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you could get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.